Hey, and welcome to another episode of Lightroom Newbie, where we are going to be editing my cat, Ava. Uh, well, it's actually my girlfriend's cat, Ava, but um, she likes me better, so I'm going to claim her as mine. This is Ava. She's very cute. This is a very good picture, actually. Well, I mean, by my standards, I think it's very good. Um, the lighting was just right. Uh, it actually looks... This is unedited. It actually looks fine to me, as it is, but we're going to try and take this and turn it into something a little bit more... I don't know, kind of moody looking, uh, a little bit more raw looking, I guess, kind of bringing out the fur and the eyes and uh, some of those textures. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, uh, temperature and tint are fine, but we are going to increase the exposure just a bit while, actually contrast, we aren't touching. Um, highlights, we are going to decrease just a tad because they're a little bit blown out. Shadows, we're going to increase and whites we're going to decrease and blacks we're going to increase and that looks good to me so let's go to clarity at about 10. we don't want to overdo the clarity because we're actually going to go in and uh, use the brush tool to kind of fill in the uh the face of ava here so we'll do that in a little bit uh, as for vibrance we're going to boost the vibrance but lower the saturation some to kind of give it that kind of that moody look where we still have some colors coming through um, but it kind of gives it this kind of raw feel to it all right we're done with the basic panel let's go to tone curve and do a basic little contrasty curve here a little too much I'm gonna raise the blacks just a little bit just to kind of give it that faded look I just kind of like it in this case Okay, great. We are done with code, the tone curve. We aren't doing anything with the uh, color panel here. So let's go to split toning. Um, I kind of want to add a little bit, just a tint of yellow. Not too much, like it's barely noticeable. Like if I turn it off, you, I mean, it's it's noticeable to me. I'm not too sure how well the video shows it, but um, just a slight tint of yellow there. And for the shadows, we're just going to add a slight tint of blue there. Okay, we are done with the split toning. Detail, um, let's see. Oops. Let's take a sample. Uh, I guess kind of near the... Actually, let's kind of do it above where the fur and the window kind of... You can kind of see the detail a little bit better there. So we'll sharpen it just a bit and also reduce some of that noise. <laughs> And that is it. Remove chromatic aberration, enable profile corrections. Looks like we're good. Uh, we want to add a little bit of that you know, halo effect from the vignetting, so we'll do that. And camera calibration. Uh, I kind of want to change the color of her fur just a little bit, not too much. Um, I just want to get kind of a different hue of red in there. Um, and by reducing it some, you kind of add like this kind of, it almost kind of, I think, incorporates some purple to it. Um, I'm actually not too sure what kind of, it kind of looks like it's going towards purple. But you know, this is Lightroom Navy, where I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, so just bear with me. Uh, but yeah, actually that's, that's a little bit too much. Let's do, let's back off just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And the last thing we'll do here is actually, um, enhance her eyes with the brush tool so we'll come here with into the brush tool go to iris enhance and we actually don't want let's see we I don't want saturation up as much as they have by default let's do but plus 20 it was on plus 40 by default okay we got that one and we got this one okay let's zoom out cool looks good and last thing, we want to just boost the clarity of her face just a little bit. So let's go ahead here and, oops, I think by I think I'm increasing the exposure, we don't want to do that. Let's open that up again, double click on effect to bring everything back to normal. Um, and actually we won't adjust anything yet. Let me just press O so we know where we're kind of painting over. And this is just going to be kind of quick and dirty. Because you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to do. And I want 
go too much into her eyeball. Let's see. And if you didn't know, uh, if you're in the brush mode and you're too far zoomed in, you can press spacebar, and uh, that'll bring up the movement tool, and you can actually um, you know, move around while you're uh, zoomed in and kind of uh, using the brush tool to paint over things. Okay, uh, let's press O again to get rid of the mask and see what it looks like, just increasing clarity just a bit. Just kind of bring out some of that fur, just kind of that texture. Okay, great, I think, let's see, zoom out. That looks good. Um, it looks pretty dang close to the original. Kind of do it side by side. Yeah, it looks good. And there's old and there's the new. So that's all there is to it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time.